the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, NBA playoff fans. We're about to start game four of the conference finals here on 2K Sports. Shaq's here. The Jet is here. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, we'll be watching the Houston Rockets playing against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Taking a look at the Lakers, they've made it look easy as they've progressed through this postseason. Just two losses thus far. We'll see if they can continue their impressive play. And with a commanding 3-0 lead in the series, game four on their home court. Kenny, you know they're looking to close this thing out tonight with the sweep. They have the momentum, and this is where good teams go for the jugular. And they're facing a team with his back to the wall. It's all about starting strong, crushing their wheel early. I agree. All right, and now with the tip-off coming up shortly, we go courtside to Kevin Harlan. He's got the call. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Western Conference Finals, Game 4. The Houston Rockets have their backs against the wall, down three games to none. Can the dream of defying history by doing what no team has done before drive them to victory? It's a must-win game four against the Los Angeles Lakers. The quest for the best in the West continues. Coming up next. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. One team with its back against the wall. The other with a chance for a spot in the finals. Can it go to a game five? We'll have to see. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Western Conference battles always fun. This time it's the Los Angeles Lakers intent on protecting home court. And there is certain to be some disappointment because of the injury to James Harden. Kevin, his injury is going to cost him a few games. And in the playoffs, that could be devastating. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So on the floor for Houston, Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. Anthony is out there with Payne, and it's Capella in at the five down low. And Anthony gets it to go. Anthony's pull-up shot is lethal, guys. Exceptional at shooting while in rhythm. Schroeder finds Davis. Wade outside. Clock at four. The turnaround jumper. Count it. Boy, you got to admire the mid-range game of Wade. Has this area of the floor on lock. I mean, incredibly efficient from here. Anthony with it. The 19-foot shot, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Anthony's got his second basket of the night. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Davis kicks to Wade. Back to Davis. Shoots it. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. And, you know, guys, Wade is a terrific teammate, always willing to give up the ball and share the sugar, if you will, especially when his teammate is wide open. Now here's Gordon, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. Here's James. Here's Davis. A second chance effort. Cousins with the bucket. You got to love how Cousins uses his size, his reach. He's more prolific on the defensive glass, but obviously a factor on the offensive end as well. Now here's Anthony. Now here's Paul. Bob pass to Capella. You know, this is why they trust Paul to run the offense. I mean, he's so good at getting the ball to guys on time and on target. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And stolen by Payne. Here's Anthony. 
That one off the back iron and out. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Boy, the defense had gone to sleep, so you got to knock that one down. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Mike D'Antoni. David, what do you have to say? I asked him if it's possible to maintain any belief that they can win this series, and he said, definitely. We know the odds are against us, but this is a one-game-at-a-time situation. We're going to play our hardest, try to win tonight, and take it from there. Well, what else can they do, Kevin? Back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Schroeder after Clint Capella's bucket. Knocked loose. Here's Paul. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Drills the three-pointer. Paul's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Outstanding long-range marksmanship from Paul. Solid at spraying it from deep. Shooter passes to James. Shot to stop the run, and the layup is up and in. James has got his first bucket of the night. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. Now here's Anthony. Cousins pulls it in. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Basket good. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. And the dunk by Capella. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Lakers trail by three. Schroeder kicks to Davis. Back to Schroeder. Pass to James. Wade outside. Lock at six. Over Gordon. And there's another one for the Lakers. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Anthony against LeBron. Anthony looking it over. Again, the rocket score. Well, you got to respect the jump shot of Anthony because he's got the ultimate green light. And because of that freedom, he's a dangerous guy on the perimeter. Now, here's Schroeder. No points in the game yet for him. Now, LeBron. Back to Schroeder. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Three-point lead. The pass to Payne. Kicks it out to Gordon. From past the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here is Davis. And it's Wade in the corner. Schroeder outside. Lakers working the ball around now. And there's the whistle. That goes on Adrian Payne. That's his first foul for the Rockets. Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Payne. P.J. Tucker. James in the post. Anthony on him. Here's Cousins. Back to Davis. Just two to shoot. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Davis has got six points. That's just an incredible find coming from the big man. No debating Cousins smarts on the court. He picks out a pass there that not many guys would have seen. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. Rockets leading by four. Anthony in the corner. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. 
for Los Angeles. They've gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. The nine foot shot, and it's in off the backboard. Eight points for Anthony Davis. Yeah, and he's connecting on a lot of his shots here, shooting a high percentage from the field, really giving his team a boost. Here's Tucker, and Davis pulls it down. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Anthony kicks to Paul. Shoots over Schroeder. That's good from Paul on the assist by Anthony. Paul's got his second basket. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Schroeder finds Cousins. Down low. Davis, the pass to Cousins. Paul against Schroeder. Paul looking over the floor. From 17 feet out, and it's Houston with another. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Houston. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Here's James after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Over Anthony, and again, it's the Lakers. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. Tell you what, Greg, it's getting to the point where you assume every shot is going to go down. I mean, nobody's missing out there. And so it's Houston with it, following the basket by LeBron James. Wade against Gordon. That's tipped. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Anthony Davis third, fourth to Marcus Cousins. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. They come into this game following a tremendous win on Wednesday. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Yeah, you know what? The waters were calm for most of the game. I mean, little resistance. Felt like they could get any look they wanted at any time. platoon swap here for the Lakers Houston also making some changes and this comes in for Carmelo Anthony and it's green and for Eric Gordon here's Kuzma and Kuzma slams it in you know what at six foot nine Kuzma is a terrific athlete and he's very good at using that size and athleticism to knife through the defense now here's Ennis passes to Tucker over Rondo and Houston again with the bucket. Here's Rondo. High post Howard. Back to Rondo. We've got 148 left in the first quarter of the game. If he's one thing, he's efficient in the paint. Rondo really good with the positioning there close to the basket. Paul dishes to Ennis. Paul against Rondo. Paul left side.
from 13. A rebound by the Lakers. Not surprising he missed that one, though, Kevin. I mean, the defense was very aggressive on him there. To the middle. The putback. Howard, that's good. Now just a one-point Houston lead. Imposing his will down there. Howard feels like he can score anytime he wants from this area. Here's Paul. Great tee that time from Rondo. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. Looked like he forced the shot. Here's Paul following the bucket by the Lakers. And the officials call a traveling violation. Lakers ball. Solomon Hill is checked in for the Rockets. Solomon. Here is Rondo. And here is Howard. Back to Rondo. Kicks it to Harold. Shot from 12. Can't get it to fall, and he's missed the second after making his first. Ball finds Hill. Green against Stevenson. Green with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Paul. Over Rondo. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the Rockets lead by one. Confident and precise is exactly how Paul owns the mid-range area. Carmelo Anthony getting it done for Houston. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action after this word. And now, in a different stage of his career, Carmelo Anthony adjusting to a new role on this team. Uh, we all had to accept whatever the role is for each individual. And I think it started with me to just accept that role and ask the guys, what do you need from me? Ask coach, what do you need from me? And be able to go out there and accept that and deliver that. And that adjustment, you know, Greg, not without hiccups for a lot of star players. No doubt. It can be difficult to accept a diminished role, but if Melo is going to finally win a title, I think he'll have to be as more of a secondary player. And we welcome you back to the Western Conference Finals as we get going again. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, you know, what are your thoughts? I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebound. And you know what, Greg? It looks like they have an advantage there. I mean, I liked how they've made an effort, really a concentrated effort, to hit that glass. And so in the game for the Rockets, we've got Solomon Hill, Gerald Green out there with Paul, then it's Ennis, then it's Nene, and at the five, home in the paint. Outside Rondo. Howard kicks to Rondo. Pass to Kuzma. Clock at four. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Rondo's got three assists in the game. Rockets trail by three. Now here's Paul. He has seven. Outside, Green. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And Howard with the stuff. Great timing and recognition as Howard is able to go up for the alley-oop. Houston's gone three or four from long range in the game. Green taking his time here. And he banks in the layup. Green's got his first bucket in this one. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. 
Very, very well done. Rondo kicks to Kuzma. Nene against Howard. And he banks in the layup. Howard's got the lead back up to five now for the Lakers. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Green in the post. He's covered by Rondo. Poked away. It's stolen by Ennis. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. And that one is good. And that's now nine points for Chris Paul. You know, Chris Paul will get his points any way he can. I mean, that's his aggressive nature. CP3, if it means handling contact, he's ready for it. Now here's Rondo. That's good from Howard on the assist by Harrell. Howard's got six points in the quarter. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assist. And it's Paul penetrating. Here's Green. And he converts the layup. Green's got his second basket of the game. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Here's Rondo. Here's Kuzma. Chalk up two there. Kuzma's got eight. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Now here's Paul. He's got nine. Nene trying to get open. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Chris Paul. Well, it would be fun to check the number of points that Paul has generated running the pick and roll throughout his career. It's such a reliable play for him because he's so good at reading the defense. Great effort, terrific instincts. It's just solid all-around play, Kevin. Fader on the way. Misses off the left iron. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. The shot's good from Kuzma. Now it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. You know, once Kuzma has the position he wants inside, he does his thing fearlessly. Green, the pass to Ennis. The baseline, Jay. Here's Nene. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Number one, Chris Paul. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. That's good from Nene. The muscle Nene brings on both ends. Man, he knows how to use it, too. A guy you don't want to fool around with at all. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Howard. LeBron comes in for Harrell. Wade, he's checked in for Lance Stevenson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And so Nene nails both of them. Lakers leading by five. Schroeder finds Wade. Now Schroeder. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Six to shoot. The shot, no good. And it's Houston the other way. Here's Gordon to the paint. And Capella with the basket on the assist by Gordon. Eight points for Clint Capella. When Capella plays with force inside, watch out. Time out, time I out. like his intensity. And the Lakers call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Adrian Payne's checked in for Nene. And there's the whistle. That goes on Adrian Payne. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Shot from the inbound. Cousins, no good. Rockets trail by three. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. No good. That would have tied it. James kicks to Cousins. Shooter passes to Davis. Shoots over Payne. Here's Cousins. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You know, I really enjoy watching Cousins go to work deep inside. I mean, it feels like, to me, nobody can guard him down there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Cousins. And everyone knows when Cousins controls his emotions, he's one of the very best centers in the game. All again, Schroeder. Shoots from the right block, and the shot is long. Lakers leading by six. Outside, Davis. He kicks it to LeBron. Cloak loose and stolen by Payne. Ball against Schroeder. Outside Gordon. Back to Paul for three. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Paul can score in bunches and do it efficiently. So once he knows he's in that zone, that makes him all the more willing to do things himself. Now here's Davis. Eight points for him. And there's the whistle. That goes on Adrian Payne. And that'll be his third foul so far. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. And the Rockets making a change here. Tucker's checked in. On defense, the Rockets. Lakers passing it around. James in the post. Guarded by Tucker. Four on the shot clock. And that one drops. Eight points for LeBron. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. The pass to Tucker. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. Backcourt he went violation. over and back. Lakers ball. Now here's LeBron, guarded by Tucker. James finds Davis. Over Payne, and that one's good by Davis. Davis has got 10 points. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Well, the hustle and the effort, the uh, persistence, all of that paying off in a big way. And that's something that makes a coach smile. And it's Gordon missing. 
and, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Here's Gordon following the basket by LeBron James. Here's Paul. And again, the turnover by the Rockets. And, you know, that pass wasn't deflected or anything, Kevin. Don't see that often. An unfortunate, unforced turnover. Lakers leading by nine. He gives them a double-digit lead. And 12 points for LeBron. They're up right now because he's been dominant on offense. And, man, I like seeing him catch fire like this. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And he's been taking it to the rack all game. And they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. The fourth spot held by Clint Capella. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. And Tucker kicks to Gordon. Paul outside. Six to shoot. Looking to end the run. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. Yeah, I like how James takes it to the defense. Even if they're all over him, he just muscles it past them. Lob pass to Capella. An emphatic alley-oop jam. He's a high percentage scorer for a reason now. Capella, an alley-oop specialist. And they double up James. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And the Rockets with possession here. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Rockets. From 13, and again, the Rockets good for two. Los Angeles leading by nine. Passes it to James. Shoots over Tucker, and LeBron with the basket, the assist by Schroeder. 16 points for LeBron. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now here's Paul. 16 points for him. It's stolen by Davis. And Cousins kicks to LeBron. It doesn't go for him. And it's Houston the other way. Paul, right side, shoots over Schroeder. It's stolen by Wade. And here we go with Davis heading to the hoop. And it's Davis finishing it off. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. 
Now here's Paul. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Bucket is good. Gordon's got his second basket of the night. And Gordon doing a nice job measuring these inside shots well. I mean, has a solid, quick release pretty much from anywhere on the floor. Now here's Wade. Kicks it to Davis. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard's checked in for Cousins. Lance Stevenson comes in for Dwayne Wade. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Solomon Hill is checked in for Houston. Gerald Green comes in for Gordon. Here's Rondo. With some arc. Down to five on the shot clock. Davis. That's in. He's seven for 12 now in the game. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. Green with the ball. Here's Paul. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And, you know, the one thing you don't want to do is put Chris Paul on the line. He's virtually automatic there. He does not miss many from the strike. The Rockets have gone two for two in the game at the line. Shooting two, gentlemen. And he makes the first. You know, here's a factoid you might not know about Chris Paul. Basketball is not his only sport. He's an amazing bowler, too. Now, I'm not sure if you call that a sport as much as you call it a skilled activity, but he's good at it. And so Paul nails both of them. And that concludes the first half. Los Angeles on top. They lead by 13. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Dwayne, is defense the area of emphasis in the second half? But that's what's going to win this game for us. You know, it's a good offensive team. Uh, we can't give them second chance points. We can't come out in the second half and turn the ball over. So if we're going to win, it's going to be a defensive end. Yes, you have to keep them one and done. Thanks, Dwayne. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Halfway home, tonight's Western Conference Finals battle. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. We've had a great view of all of the action tonight. Taking a look at the Lakers, this game has been a continuation of the dominance they've shown throughout the series. They've got their brooms ready, and it doesn't look like anything's going to hold off the sweep. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? They need to break it down. And I look at the individual areas that they're struggling, like they're getting pounded. I mean pounded, Ernie, on the boards. That's a hustle stat. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Welcome back to game four as we get back into the action. It's been a clinic out there by James. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. And, you know, Greg, I like how they've set the pace. There's a lot of time left in this one, so there's no rush. You don't have to go 70 miles an hour. Keep it at about 45. 
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Rockets trail by 13. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's LeBron James. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's Schroeder in at the one. That's the Laker five. The Lakers shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And, Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Gordon. Pass to Carmelo. Shot clock at six. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Anthony's got 13 points. And Melo, a skilled shooter. If he gets a clean look, you expect him to make it. Schroeder kicks to Wade. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Cousins. Now Davis. Over Paul. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Wade kicks it over to Schroeder. Paul with the steal. It's tipped and stolen by James. Oats it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game, and he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. Lock at six. Back to Payne. The three from Anthony scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. And James throws it down. And James makes scoring look so effortless. Once he kicks it into gear, that there's not much you can do to stop it. Now here's Anthony, 16 points for him. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. Love how Capella stays alert on the offensive board, creating second chance opportunities thanks to that activity. Shooter passes to Cousins. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Nene, he's checked in for Houston. Ennis comes in for Paul. Nene, James Ennis. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Gordon against Wade. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Wade's got his third basket of the night right there. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Timeout called the Rockets. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. In the third spot, Dwayne Wade. 
he is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. Defense! 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 Gordon against Wade. Defense! 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 Gordon deciding where to go with it. Outside Anthony. Pulls it up. It's good from Gordon on the assist by Anthony. And it's seven points for Eric Gordon. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Down low. Goes up at the stripe. Again, the Lakers. And what a great start to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Down low. Here's Nene. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Look at the intensity of Nene, one of the strongest guys in the game. Phenomenal at scoring the ball inside. Davis finds Wade, and here is Cousins, and Cousins throws it down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Now here's Ennis. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now here's Gordon, following the miss by Anthony Davis. Six to shoot. Davis against Gordon, over Davis, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. And here are the Rockets now, after the miss from Dennis Schroeder. Ennis taking his time here. There's the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Cousins has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Puts it up from 12, and he drops that one in. Cousins has got nine points. Can't forget about the mid-range, Jay. Cousins rising up with confidence from there. Anthony dishes to Ennis. And good that time. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Schroeder outside to the inside. And Davis throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Timeout called the Rockets. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. with some changes. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Lance Stevenson subbed in for Dwayne Wade. The Rockets also changing it up. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Adrian Payne. And it's Gerald Green in for Eric Gordon. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. 
And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. And so it's the Lakers with it. Following the score by Houston. Cousins, whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint, but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggressiveness. And Cousins, no good on that one. And so Nene will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. It's an 18-point game. Green kicks to Ennis. Over Stevenson. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Lakers shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. It's tipped. Kuzma passes to Cousins. It's two on one. Here's Green. Buries the jumper to finish the break. Green's got six points. And showing a good nose for the ball there. Picks it clean. Then he's off to the races. Well, excellent defensive instincts. I mean, knows exactly when to strike on this end. Now, here's Kuzma. He's got ten. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Rockets trail by 18. Outside Hill. The pass to Tucker. Three-pointer. Good. The assist goes to Hill. He has five. Tell you what, for a guy who's inconsistent from three, Tucker's showing you he can be scary out there at times for a defense. Now, here's Stevenson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Rondo. Shot clock at five. Over Hill. Rondo's shot is off. Houston's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Green, and Green is right there. Hey, you know, Kevin, that's what you want to see. Strong passing inside, leading to the hoop. Lakers leading by 13. Rondo finds Cousins. Rondo drives in, inside. Here's Harrell. Good. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Yeah, and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to. I mean, it's been carte blanche, full menu for them, and the defense really not offering any resistance. Timeout called the Rockets. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Always, and having a good coach is critically important. I mean, you need somebody you can count on to make the right adjustment. And Los Angeles with some changes. Howard comes in for DeMarcus Cousins. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Lance Stevenson. And a change for the Rockets. Paul's checked in. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. Over in the corner, Green. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. Kuzma can't get it to go. Rockets trail by 12. To the paint. Nene, the pass to Tucker, and stolen by Howard. 
Now Rondo. And here is Harrell. Inside. Here's Howard. And the rebound goes to Nene. Nene's got four rebounds now tonight. Green against Schroeder. Outside Green. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Passes it to Harrell. Lakers working the ball around now. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Nene. Robbed up there for Green. And it's Green with the jam. And what a passer Paul is. Exceptional at seeking out his guys and getting them into a rhythm. Rondo kicks to Howard. Pass to Schroeder. Here's Harrell. Started by Green. Harrell dishes to Howard. Schroeder against Green. Green with the block. They recover it. Howard. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. And Howard selling the up fake there, but not the worst thing to send him to the line. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. Yeah, but also they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. That free throw, no good. You know what? Still a consistent double-double threat. Every game is Howard wanting to prove how valuable he is. And the Lakers making a change here. Wade's checked in, and a change for the Rockets. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. And he's good on the second. 51 seconds left to play in the third. Ball with the ball. 18 points for him. Here's Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets Shot the call seven. and will shoot two. For Houston, they have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Roof shot. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. And two for one. That's what they'd like to get right now. That would be ideal, and that's exactly what they'll try to do. They don't need to rush it. Just need to get a quality shot, and quickly. Hill against Kuzma. Outside Hill. On the wing, Green. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. Oh, 
Schroeder looking over the floor. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And we've watched three so far in this one. Lakers lead by seven. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So on the four for Houston. Gordon is at the two with Green playing the three. Clint Capella is out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Paul in at the point. That one goes. Count it. Kuzma's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Lakers. Paul against Schroeder. Lob pass to Capella. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Now here's Schroeder, back to Wade. Six on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Man, the confidence and flair that Wade plays with uniquely his own a dynamite two guard who is also a clutch performer that free throw good from Wade Davis has checked in for Los Angeles James comes in for Kyle Kuzma Both free throws good for Wade. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Houston. Outside, Green. And it's Green slamming it down. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. Over in the corner, Paul. That three off the mark. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And, and guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, what can they do? I mean, nobody can miss a shot. I mean, these guys are bringing it on offense right now. Schroeder finds Howard. Wasted no time on that one. And now it's an 11-point Laker lead. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. To the middle. Here's Paul. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. The craftiness of Paul really on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls on him. Chris Paul at the line for two. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. Houston making some changes. Adrian Payne comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Anthony subbed in for Green. <laughs> and
And the second free throw, good. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Shooter kicks to Davis. Over Payne. And it's Davis missing. Rockets trail by 10. Outside Gordon. Lob pass to Capella. Ball against Schroeder. Six to shoot. Ball right side. That one a little long. Lakers leading by 10. Down low. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Wade. Wade's got his seventh assist here tonight. So hard to corral Howard. I mean, even when you try to rough him up and get physical with him, he still just is able to play through it. Gordon, the pass to Paul. Shoots over Schroeder. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. 21 points for Chris Paul. For Los Angeles, they've gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. James finds Davis. Shoots over Capella. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 14 points now in the second half. Didn't have any problem knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Outside Gordon. Back to Paul. Puts it up from 12. Paul missing again. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Davis. Good. And the assist goes to James. And that's now 30 points for Anthony Davis. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Now here's Gordon. Back to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Nice recognition that time from Capella. Aggressively rolling to the bucket after setting the screen. James kicks to Howard. Schroeder outside. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Over Payne. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. 32 points for Davis. Great basketball from him, Kevin. A commanding performance. Helping add to the lead this quarter. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. What a terrific finisher he is for an undersized player. Chris Paul doesn't let anything throw him off. DeMarcus Cousins has checked in for the Lakers. One shot, gentlemen. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They led by as many as 18 points. He kicks it to Davis. Gets an open look and hits. Davis has got 34 points. And every move he makes looks like the right one at this point. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, the game comes so naturally to him, easily. I mean, helping to expand their lead as they try to close this one out, he's doing it. Now here's Gordon. Misses off the right iron. Outside, Davis. Schroeder outside. It's stolen by Anthony. To the paint. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Chris Paul. For Los Angeles, they've gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're 8 of 9 on field goal attempts in the quarter. Davis inside, working on Payne. That one falls. Davis has got 12 points now in the quarter. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. To the inside. And the dunk by Capella. You know, we're used to seeing this kind of efficiency from Capella, but he's scoring with volume, too. That's impressive. Shooter passes to Cousins. Let's it go from the wing, and Capella sends it back. Here's Gordon. Good, and Paul gets the assist. 
Paul's got his eighth assist in the game. And Gordon's so efficient as a scorer, especially from the mid-range where he's almost automatic. Davis finds Schroeder. They get a hand on it. Paul with the steal. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And the Rockets making a change here. Nene is checked in. Los Angeles leading by nine. James doesn't go that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Gordon against Wade. Five to shoot. Gordon for three. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Where was the defense? Come on now. Where was it? No idea how they gave up that open a look. James against Anthony. Here's Paul. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers leading by 12. Here's Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. 38 points for Davis. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Anthony kicks to Paul. It's stolen by Schroeder. Here's Davis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Davis is really the total package. A mobile, sharp-shooting big guy Shooting who can score from everywhere. Anthony Davis taking two shots. Two shots. And that one falls for Davis. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. And both free throws good for Davis. Rockets trail by 16. Now here's Paul. Teardrop shot, and the layup is good. Paul's got 28. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Now here's Paul. To the inside. And Anthony with the basket on the assist by Paul. Paul's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for Los Angeles. They led by as many as 18 points. And it's Davis at the elbow. Kicks it out to Schroeder. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Cousins inside, guarded by Nene. Four on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Wade. It's rebounded by Houston. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. Anthony, a perennial all-star talent, specifically because of that scoring ability, one of the best in the business. Now here's Davis. Gordon with the defensive effort. The defense did not do a good job guarding that one, Kevin. Don't know how he missed that layup. Lakers leading by 12. James, the pass to Davis. And Davis throws it down. He's their go-to guy, and when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Timeout called the Rockets. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. And, Kevin, they need this timeout. He's flat-out owning them right now. 
Can't miss. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The Western Conference crown is going to be theirs, and he's the number one reason why. As clutch a performance you could ask for in a game with everything on the line. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? Now, here's Cousins. Following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. A floater and the layup good by Cousins. And the Lakers lead by 16. And Cousins, also a good ball handler, just taking it strong there to the hole. Paul kicks to Anthony. And he nails the jumper. Anthony's got 11 points here in just the second half. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Cousins against Manet. And stolen by Payne. From 13, count it in the Laker lead has been cut down to 12 on the bucket from Anthony. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. And Davis throws it down. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. One thirty six left in the fourth quarter. Schroeder against Paul. Shoots over Schroeder, and it's Houston with another. Good things just happen when Chris Paul's on the court. Leadership, talent, savvy, awareness. I mean, whether he's dropping dimes or knocking down jumpers, he's productive. Now here's Schroeder. Wade finds Schroeder. Wade against Gordon. Floats it up for James. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And just not much more you can say, guys. It's the end of the line for one team and a hard-fought, well-deserved trip to the NBA Finals for the Lakers. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What well, a night tonight it was for Anthony Davis. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. The first one falls, and Los Angeles with some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Cousins. Harrell comes in for Anthony Davis. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Houston also making some changes. Solomon Hill comes in for Adrian Payne, and it's James Ennison for Gordon. And Paul drills both of them. 
59 seconds left to play here in the fourth. On the wing, James. To the inside. It's stolen by Anthony. Ennis in the corner. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, frustrating to say the least. I mean, don't even know why they're trying anymore. This one is a wrap. Now, here's James. Kicks it to Harold. Yep, it counts. And the Lakers lead by 13. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? As long as required, Greg. I mean, you can tell they want to put this thing to bed. Anthony against James. And Anthony gets it to go. Yeah, just superb focus there from Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. LeBron outside. And that's going to do it for this series. They'll move on. You know, they had to battle through the very tough Western Conference, but they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the finals. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East, and, and they're going to get straight to business in terms of prep for the finals. Still, they get to celebrate tonight, and they've earned it as champions of the West. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.